In this video series, we're going to do, be doing some guided practice on exam questions. Now, exam questions can be a little bit daunting when we start practicing them first, just because they're new, that some of them have quite a lot of text in them. Um, there are certain skills that we need to learn in order to be able to be, get good at answering exam questions. Most of the time, we have more than enough content knowledge. So my students, you have, you have learned content that is way beyond what's going to be in this exam. And a lot of the exam is quite common in sensey, to be honest. But there are still some skills that you have to be able to get good at uh, just to master the actual process of answering exam questions. So that's what we're going to be doing, taking you through uh, some of the exam questions. Now, because this is the first video, we're going to begin by having a quick overlook at the actual exam itself. So the junior science exam has a total of two hours. So the time that you get is two hours, which is a total of 120 minutes. So that's the amount of time you'll be in the exam for. The total marks on the paper is 360 marks. And there are three, really three types of questions uh, on the paper. Questions one to 10, I might often refer to these as the short questions. Okay, so these are questions one to 10. And these are worth about 15 marks each. 15 marks each. So the total of these questions is 150 marks. So 150 out of the total 360. We then have four more questions. So question 11 up to question 14. These are slightly longer questions. These are worth 30 marks each. Okay, so that's a total of 120 marks for these four questions. The last two questions, these are the longest questions, question 15 up to question 16. These two questions are worth 45 marks each. Uh, so that's a total of 90 marks. Okay, so how does this break down for the full paper? Okay, so question 15 and 16, this last bit, these together are worth 25% of the whole paper. So even though it's only two questions, it's worth a quarter of the paper. So it's really important not to ignore these two at the end. Um, some questions, students uh, tend to kind of get to the end and just go, ah, there's only two left, I've done grand, and then get up and walk out. But what you don't realize there is that that's actually a quarter of the paper. So it's really important not to do that. And these do tend to be the harder questions uh, requiring the longest answers. So this is not the place in the paper to give up. Um, the question 11 to 14, these four together, this is another 33% of the paper. So you're talking about one third of the marks for them four questions. <laughs> the short questions then are left for the last, uh, I believe it's 42% in or around that 42%. So that's how you can see uh, the paper breaking down. And if we take these percentages and work out, okay, well, how much time should we give each section? Then this is about what it works out at. Questions one to 10, these 15 mark questions, we should give them about five minutes each. Okay. The 30 markers should get 10 minutes each. And finally, the 45 markers, these should get 15 marks each. Minutes, sorry, not marks. So it's probably a good idea, and I'm going to say it now, and I'm always going to be reminding you, uh, to be using your timer while you're actually practicing these. Now, this first video is going to run a bit over. We're going to be doing a, a short question. We're going to be doing a five-minute question. Uh, we're going to be doing one of these guys. Uh, but it's important to remember that this one might go a little bit over because we're essentially just being introduced to the idea of exam questions here. So it's got a little bit of extra stuff me going through it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the very first question, question one of the 2019 exam paper. Okay, so that's what we're going to be looking at. And that question was uh, the 29 uh, exam question, question one was on cells. Okay, now there's a couple of options to, uh, while we're answering this. Okay, either you will have your own set of exam papers. If you do, then you can work along in your set of exam papers if you have your own. That's the first thing you can do, okay? And then you can just literally write into your exam papers. If you don't have any exam papers, what you could do if you've got a printer is you can go on to examinations.ae, find the science exam paper of 2019 and print it off and write into that exam paper. Last of all, if you don't have any exam papers, you can do these questions in your copy by literally drawing out 
if there's a diagram, you draw, copy it out and write in the words. As you see, this first one, for example, has a diagram with labels and you have to put the labels in or literally keep the numbers and the parts the same and answer them in your copy. OK. All right. So there are the three options. All right. So the first thing we've got to do is uh, is we've got to try and teach you guys a model to how to read the questions, how to figure out what they're asking us to do. So I'm going to be using a highlighter here. If you have this on paper, you should do the same. What I would advise you to do now at this point is get your stopwatch and start your timer and see how long it takes you. So go ahead, start the timer now, uh, and we'll go start going through the questions. OK, all right. So it says here the diagram shows an animal cell. So I'm going to highlight that because straight away there's important information there. There's a clue here that this is an animal cell. So from my studies or your studies, you should know what an animal cell is and what parts are. It says use the words listed below. OK, so they're giving you a list to label the parts of the cell. And here are the three parts, cytoplasm, cell membrane and nucleus. OK, so there's some options here. If you're working in the exam papers, pause the video and label the cell. If you're not working in the exam papers, then what you've got to do is you've got to pause the, pause the uh, video and go ahead and uh, draw this diagram. So copy down this diagram here now. OK, so pause the video and do that. OK, now that you've done that, it's time to actually work on labeling. So this is what you should have done. Here's the cell. This is if you've drawn it, this is what you should have done. And then keep the labels in the same place. So this top label was that one uh, there. The second one was pointing at the yellow background. And the third one was pointing to the edge of the cell right here. OK, so you try and keep yours in the same place. And we've got to use these words here, these terms that we've highlighted to uh, to label it. So now that we've done this, I want you to pause the video and I want you to label these three parts. OK, so you should only be playing the video if you have now done that, you've copied it down and you've labeled them. So hopefully this is what you put. The top one here, this would be the nucleus. The second one down here, this is the uh, cytoplasm. And the third one down, this is the cell membrane. Now, what I want to do is I want to check my three here and make sure that they are the same three that I was given in the list. So nucleus is here. So watch how I do it. The skills of the exam, you see. Cytoplasm, I'm underlining cytoplasm and I'm also underlining it here to make sure I've matched them up. And cell membrane, yeah. So definitely use the three options they give me, which is good. OK, so at the end, we're going to go check the marking scheme and make sure that that is the correct answer. OK, let's go ahead and look at part B. Which of the named parts controls the activities of the cell? OK, so how I would do this is, again, I like to keep a label on them. So I'm just going to write down here, what are they asking me for? Activities of the cell in red. I've got a little colon. So I'm, again, I'm just repeating in my own mind, what are they asking me about? They're asking me about which part controls the activities of the cell. So I've written down and read what the question is about, and now my answer is coming. So pause the video, and you write down which part controls the activities of the cell. Okay, so you should only be playing if you've written down which of these three parts controls the activities of the cell. Now it's really, really important that you never leave this blank, okay? Even if you're not sure, it's got to be one of these three named parts. So use your educated guess. You, you know, really look at them, try and remember, and don't leave it blank. Go for one of them. Go for the one that makes the most sense, okay? Never leave it blank. So this is what we're doing. Activities of the cell, well, you should know that that's the nucleus. Okay, and we're going to check that at the end again. All right, next one. The student was asked to examine the animal cells in the laboratory, okay? So a student was asked to examine the animal cells in the laboratory. Which of the following instruments, so this is pieces of equipment, should the student use? And look what it says, place a tick in the correct box. So we don't want to use an X. We don't want to use a shade it in. We don't want to shade it in or use an X. It says to use a tick. So I have to use a tick, okay? All right, so now if you're, if you've got exam papers, you can put the tick. If you don't have the exam papers, then you probably just write down the one 
over here. So what should I do here? I'm look, talking about part C. Uh, so viewing cells, colon, which one of these is it? Okay, so pause the video, write down the answer. Okay, so hopefully you went for microscope. It's the one that makes the most sense. It's the one you would we used in class, a microscope. We did not use a telescope for this and we de definitely did not use a periscope. So if you had the exam papers, you should be putting a tick. If not, you're writing the answer like this. Okay, let's check our answer. So this here is what we call a marking scheme. And this is what the examiner would have to, uh, to correct your answers with. As you see, the total here was 15 marks. And we see how it's broken down. For question one, part A, this is the three labels, nucleus, cytoplasm, cell membrane, in that order. And there were three each, okay? So over here, let's see, do we have them in the same order? As we see, the nucleus is the first one, so that's right. Then cytoplasm, and then cell membrane. So that is the right order that we had them in. So for a total of nine marks, so well done. Hopefully you realize that that is really, really easy. The next one, which part controls activities of the cell? The correct answer for three marks is nucleus. What did we say? We said activities of the cell controlled by the nucleus. So there's another three marks. And then which instrument is used for viewing cells? The answer is microscope. And here, that's what we said. Down here, we went for the right one. Okay, so that's 15 out of 15 marks here, full marks for this question. And that there equates to about 4.2% 4, 4 of this exam, of the whole exam is done there in that shorter time. So go ahead, pause your timer now. Uh, actually, we probably should have paused the timer as soon as we're finished ans answering, not finished correcting, because we never had to correct the exam, obviously, in the real exam. So we get in the practice of pausing at the end of actually answering the question, seeing how long that took. But hopefully you realize that the likes of these short questions are really, really manageable for everybody. Those 15 marker ones, usually very straightforward, very simple. Okay, so that's it, guys. We'll see you in the next video.